do you think about getting the MetaQuest 3 Mixed Reality headset, VR headset? Well, what is Mixed Reality anyway? So if you're kind of confused between the terms in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what is Mixed Reality. Just so you know, generally speaking, the MetaQuest 3 is both virtual reality headset and Mixed Reality in a single device. Now in virtual reality, basically the entire reality around you is just gone and replaced with a virtual one. So again, basically speaking, virtual reality is a simulated world that you can explore and interact with as if you were really there. You can actually see this game right now when I'm actually riding a Jeep. Everything of course is virtual content and basically I find myself inside the Jeep. I can just race and do whatever I like. There's no anything related here to my real physical reality. It's all virtual. Now, mixed reality is a blend of the real and virtual world together where digital objects can interact with physical objects and vice versa. So, in generally speaking, we're going to see when you are experiencing mixed reality, we're going to see the real world like you see here. This is actually mixed reality on the Quest 2, but with black and white pass-through. So, basically, you can see that I can see the real world and there's digital content that uh, is going to be placed within the real world settings. So, you can see me here playing a mixed reality game where you can see that there are enemies coming into the world and I can just shoot them. And you can actually see there's enemy there behind the table and now it falls and disappears behind the table. It crouches behind the real world table. So part of his body is actually occluded, invisible behind the table. So you're probably asking yourself, how can it be that the character just falls behind my real world table? It's a virtual character. How can it be? After the virtual knows that the table is actually there. So the magic is that in mixed reality, in this case on the Quest 2, it's done manually by myself, but in Quest 3 it's going to be done automatically, the Quest will map the environment and create a 3D replica, a 3D mesh of the real world settings. So in this case, uh, there's going to be a 3D model, which actually won't see if it's going to be visible to you, but basically the F will recognize what, when is a, there is a wall, it's going to be a wall. When there's, for example, a couch, there's going to be a couch. Basically, real world objects become barriers virtually for the app to interact with. So basically, if I just set it up, as you can see here, I've just create different uh, walls basically in my room. But when the app starts, this wall is going to be invisible, but there is still going to be there for the app. So basically, those virtual walls serve as for different interactions. For example, uh, it can occlude virtual content. So if a character appear, appears behind this object, it can be just invisible or partially invisible. Again, this is called occlusion. And objects can also collide with the object. For example, if we're going to take a virtual ball and throw it on these virtual walls, it can actually bounce off. This is called collision detection. Now again, those walls are there for the app, but when I start the, the game or the app, the walls are gone, but the app knows that these walls are actually there. So if there's an enemy coming from behind a certain wall, it's going to appear partially occluded. So it's not partially visible because the physical really there to hide it. It actually hides it because there's a virtual wall that matches the location of the real physical wall that is actually there. Now, in MetaConnect 2023, Max Zuckerberg actually showed this, and you can see here what is called assisted scene capture. What the MetaQuest 2 will do, it will actually automatically will scan the environment and create a 3D mesh, a 3D digital structure of your real world environment. Now, unlike with the Quest 2 where I needed to do it manually in apps and developers can provide you tool to do it, now it's absolutely seamless. And not just that, the MetaQuest will have kind of a object recognition features that allows you to detect certain objects in the scene. For example, it can detect a table, it can detect ceiling, it can maybe detect a window, you know, and basically it's kind of aware of different objects in the scene and allow developers to create some kind of interaction with them. 
So for example, if I'm going to take a virtual ball, a virtual one, I'm going to throw it, for example, on the piano or on the couch, it's just going to bounce off the couch if I create some kind of physical interaction that bounces ball out of those surfaces. And of course, for you, the user, it will seems like it really bounces off the real world couch. This is because you won't actually see the virtual 3D replica of the real world structure is going to be invisible to you. But for the app, it will be usable to actually define some kind of physical interaction. So here is an example. There's a virtual robot there and is hidden behind this hotel bed, bed over there. You see, this is a real bed, but the virtual character is just partially hidden. Magic. And but what you see here is actually done using uh, AR Core, basically it's a mixed reality feature for Android. There's also of course ones for iOS as well, so this is on mobile. But the great thing about mixed reality is it really best experience when you use it with the headset. So your hands are free and you can interact with the world and you can see really wide field of view of the world rather than be limited to the phone's mobile phone screen. You can see, for example, I'm throwing different objects and they actually stack or fall off or bounce out of real world object. But of course, now you know it's not magic. Basically, uh, there's a 3D replica mesh of the of the bed and the pillows, and this is why it can actually bounce off that. Let me show you a bit more. Let put something there. It falls on the floor. It can actually be hidden, as you can see, behind the bed. Again, this is what mixed reality is not what everything mixed reality is all about, but this is the main part of it. Yeah, it's up to developers now to create amazing Miss Reality apps and games. I'm sure it's going to be so much better than before. Now that we don't need to set up the environment ourselves and lots of tools for developers to create some really powerful and amazing and beautiful and exciting and immersive Miss Reality apps for everybody to enjoy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give a like if you found this one useful. I'll see you on the next guide. Cheers.